Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Now a few weeks back a company called Static got in touch and asked if I'd like to have a look at some of their products. They make different types of cables and power banks but there's a bit of a twist on the way that they do things which I, I actually quite like. I had been looking at some of these style cables to update my, um, my little electronics grab and go style kit bag so it turned out really well timed so they've sent me this now I have opened it in the fact that I just needed to check what was inside there but I haven't opened each of them so I thought it's been a while since I've done a unboxing style video and I thought these would be perfect for that as I, as I mentioned you know, they do something ever so slightly different than some other manufacturers out there and yeah I thought it'd be a great piece of content now at this point, I'd certainly like to say a huge thank you to Static for one for I've got a hair in my mouth there for a second, sorry about that. One for getting in touch and asking if I'd like to test out some of your products. I always um, am humbled whenever companies uh, reach out to me, so I, I certainly appreciate that. Um, now, for everybody watching this, stay tuned to the end, uh, and they have sent me a. Um, a discount code so if you want to pick up any of the items that we have here today stay tuned at the end i believe it's a 10 percent discount code that we'll um yeah we'll give out so um for now let's turn the camera around and take a look at the mysterious items that we have in this bag okay so let's get everything out now as i mentioned i have opened this just to check what is in it and i get quite a few parcels so i'm sure you can imagine here we have a selection of the things that they've sent to me. So I believe these three are the same, but they've got some different colours there. This is definitely one of the things that I was um, incredibly interested in looking at. It's the type of cable that I've been looking at. And whereas this one, this is just like some absolute beast's worth of a, uh, of, of a cable. And then here we've got a power bank. Now the power bank on this, so this is a... 20,000 milliamp hour battery, um, which is pretty cool. So you can get a lot of charge out of that. Now, okay, let's go through some of these. Let's put these to the side and we'll start off with these. So the, these are all, so these are three feet, which is one meter. Uh, and statics have this end that they use. So the way, let's take these out. Anything else in there? Patch packaging wise, the packaging is quite nice, um, but gives you all the information that you need. Um, the beauty with this, and other than the, other than the other than the, like the super duper tough one, they all have this magnetic connector. So this, as I mentioned, you know, this is a three foot or one meter connector. On this end, you have a standard USB uh, connector. But then on this end, it's different. So you just have this magnetic connector. And in every single one, you get three magnetic male ends. So there is a, um, what's the Apple version? The Apple version is the Lime Firewire, whatever it's called. Uh, you also get a USB or a micro USB. And then you also get uh, a USB Type-C in there. So my phone works on USB Type-C and it'll fit perfectly in. So depending on which one you want to use, it just clips on. I'd say the magnet on that is really strong, so that's maybe about a centimetre away and just clicks on there perfectly. And then when that is plugged in, actually let's give this some charge. So here's a USB charger uh, seems strange them kind of so showing somebody else's product but I don't know how much charge there is in that other one so when this connects on yeah perfect it just oh actually no I haven't pushed it in far enough so might not probably actually does it oh it's just that I hadn't pushed it in for far enough and there you go accepts a charge what I will try and do in a minute is I'm very curious if you can play Xbox through this but you'll be able to see here so there is a um, so there is an LED that flashes in there and these cables do glow which I'll be able to show you in a second when I have these in the dark. So depending on what it is that you are wanting to charge, I will say it's quite tricky to get it off when you've got it. Okay, let's take it out of here. 
quite tricky when you've got it in a uh, what's it but depending on whether you're going to take it out a lot you could just leave that in there so that when you want to charge it up you can just charge it up and it will just work but while it's connected in and we will take this inside so that you can see this glowing you can just see here at the end you have um, you have some LEDs in there just to show that there is some power going through here uh, and then yes yeah, so you have these additional parts so depending on what you want to charge you can use the same cable for everything which is pretty cool now the other versions that are in here so there is a pink version but these do all have the same feature where they will glow as they charge so there's the pink version and then inside here are your three connectors and there is also a blue version which here again so there is your blue version or your blue cable so you have your USB end here which is a normal style USB and then you have your magnetic end here as well so maybe if you were to pick up a few of these uh, and have them in a few different places so you could have one at work one on your home desk or maybe one in your car um, you could just maybe keep it connected on the bottom here very clever really clever I like this but what I want to do is and I'll do it off camera I'll put down on the bottom here to check to see if it works so the annoyance of when you're playing um, when you're gaming and you're using a wired controller there's always a child wanting to trip over something and it pulls it out of your hand but if you could if this will stay in there and it will just pull that off that's what I'm going to test with these and yes I'll put down here whether or not that works so these are what are these so these are the universal glow charge cables very cool very nice actually the quality feels really good so the cable will be on the inside of there and then they'll have that glow section around it and then it has this I don't know if that's on the outs, uh, outside of it and it's wrapped around that but it feels really good the ends feel good quality as well there's, there's no wiggle in them um, so yeah they, these seem yeah, nice cables and I'll let's see how those glow in the dark now this one, so this is the Static Pro, so this is the Blitz Charge 1000 Watt. So if you are wanting to charge something a little extra, so not just your mobile phones, you can charge your laptops, you can charge um, all of those extra bits where you do need to be able to supply a little bit more juice whilst you're charging. And I'll double check to make sure there's anything else in there. Nope, that's everything out. So very similar to the other one we put in before, reading... All oh, right, okay, sorry, I probably should have. So this this is just mentioning that if you're going to, use, you're going to be using your 25 um, to 45 watt or above, make sure that you are using your manufacturer's um, actual power brick itself. I think that's probably just more on Static's part to make sure that if something did go wrong that they can rest assured that it's not the cable. Um, using third-party chargers you can have some issues with those in, uh, when, when you're charging things okay so this one is actually a little bit longer Where, where's the thing so the others were one meter whereas this so this is six foot yes this is six foot uh, so you do get some more length in this so nearly two meters two meters long on the end here you have your standard USB cable which again feels really nice and tight tight but at least there's no there's no wiggle there's no creak in it the cable itself has this really nice braided um, again feels really nice and strong reason I pull that is sometimes you find that if, if you pull these you, you just hear a little bit of a creak inside but it's the end this is the end that really fascinated me with this so what we have on here is you have the similar style so that you get the three charging ports or at least the, th the three different types and then so this one is slightly different so on the inside you have more than just one prong on there so maybe this is the one to check to see if this works with the xbox 
but this will swivel and it will also rotate, rotate. So this will rotate 360 degrees and that will also swivel 180 degrees. If you're the type that likes to uh, game or do things on your mobile phone that you know you have those cables that they stick out and they, they are I mean let's face it they are just a pain in the neck you can get the 45 degree cables which again are nice but it's always 45 degrees at a set angle whereas with this if you are gaming or even if you are using your mobile phone to do whatever it is that you need to do this will move to pretty much wherever well I say it will move to wherever it needs to go you've got 180 degrees forward and backwards and then you can rotate it mainly because this thing will just rotate around there and I'm guessing that's why there are an even amount of connectors on there as well because if you look on here um, it must rotate around that pin which will make sure that you've always got a constant connection as far as what are you do what you're doing really nice the quality of this cable feels impressive and what you also get which I've just noticed which I think is quite nice so you have one of these little cable management straps which you can pass through there and then you've, you've got these three little holes so these they must fit in there. Yeah, they do. So these will go through these holes. So no matter... I mean, they will do. I probably just need to have a fiddle with this mainly because when you're trying to do something on camera, it never does it how you're expecting it to do. But yes, they all push in there. You just have to... I think it was just that USB Type-C because it is a little bit wider and larger than some of the other ones. They will all fit in there. So no matter where you're going, you will always be able to take each of the different connectors with you. Really nice. And again, so you can just plug this on. I'll tell you what, let's take it out of here. Push that in. Connect it up. And away you go. Charging. Really nice. This feels very good quality. In fact, really good quality. Actually, do you know what? That just pulled out. Did it pull out? Did I pull, What did I pull off then? Oh, it's just this little plastic sheath there. So I will say just be careful when you're pulling that. So I pulled that and it did just come loose ever so slightly, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but hopefully it's not the first time it'll do that. I think maybe I just need to press on there a bit more. But yeah, very nice. Okay, so where... And then... Oh, then we have... So I'm just going to push that in there. They're very cool. So this is the super strong, robust version. So this is the sumo char sumo charged, uh, super fast. So this one, uh, this one as well, does up to 100 watts. And I think the one thing with this one is this is the one that they kind of is, say is their well, just before I even took it out. Then that is ridiculous. I mean, I mean ridiculous in a good way. This reminds me of like when I go to on site with my with my job. Um, you'll see a lot of the um, the AV crews. So this is very similar to those AV crew kind of cables that you see around um, whatever sort of industry. I'm sh I'm sure you're probably familiar with those just just big super. Wow, that feels really good. Oh, okay. So you just got a little bit of plastic on here. Thing with me, I've got a knife with me, but you can plug that in, plug ourselves in here as well, and we're charging away. Now, this one is a little bit longer as well, so I think this was also a six foot cable, six meter, six foot, it will be six foot. Uh, it is, yes, six foot two meters, and that feels, I mean, that is just crazy. It feels like an old fashioned phone line from, uh, from the 80s. Metal connectors on the end for each of them, which are super tough same with that one as well really nice all right okay so the metal goes all the way down so rather than just having metal to the end and then having a plastic connector on the end I really should try and get these off but I haven't got any nails oh am I doing it I might be doing it I might not be doing it anyway um, so yeah so they're really nice and then you get a little piece of kind of faux leather so that when you want to wrap this up you can get it all wrapped up Pull through there, 
and then one of these little eyes that you just kind of pass it through. Go on. That's crazy. Yeah, it really does feel like those AV cables. Very nice. So then the last bit on here, and I'll, I'll, I'll take that one out of the way for a second. So this is their um, 20,000 milliamp, yes, 20,000 milliamp hour battery. So as you'd expect with a 20,000 milliamp, so this is, this is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. As you'd expect, it is gonna be a little bit bigger. Oh, th this is really gonna annoy some people out there, those people that like to take things apart perfectly. Sorry about that, I'm sure that's probably just. So there is the, the actual charger itself. Anything else in there? No, you do get a small cable that comes with it as well. Um, it's just giving you some information on here, it should be able to charge uh, something like a laptop once, should be able to charge um, a tablet a couple of times, and you should all be able to charge your mobile phone at least six or seven times. I'll put some of the sizes down here, but on the connections on the bottom we have micro USB, we have lightning port, we have USB type C. USB A3 and USB A2. And there's also a little button there. Well, that, oh, okay, cool. So we have some lights here at the bottom. So I'm guessing that they'll be uh, on here, they'll be full 75%, uh, sorry, full, yeah, 75, 50% and less than, less than, uh, less than 25%. So this is the, what is this? This is the Google Pixel. Six, I believe. Sorry about that. Norman's just uh, jumped on the side. So you can see it's roughly the size of a mobile phone. Now I'd say it's probably similar to the size of a Kindle. But when, as I say, so when you think it's it's got more in here than this, roughly twice the amount that there is in here. Should we charge? Let's see if we can actually. Tell, let's use one of these really nice cables that we've uh, that we just opened. So we'll plug that into our USB type C there. Plug it in here. And yeah, we're charging straight away. So I think if you're the type that needs to make sure that you've got as much charge as you could possibly get, I think being able to take a large charger like this or a large separate power bank like this is great, especially considering that you should be able to uh, power up um, a laptop or an iPad or something like that with this. Um, and it will also charge up to 65 watts for your things like your high speed laptops or charging through that as well, which, um, which is great. Really, I mean, this is awesome. It is a good size. Now I will say it is on the large size. However, I think for this um, capacity, I, I wouldn't say it's larger than any of the other ones. Um, I do have, so I probably should try and find that, but I do have an anchor one that is a similar size to this, and it's a lot fatter. Um, this one does seem to be a lot slimmer, so I'd say it's, it is a good size for, for this. But again, you know, when you're putting this against a mobile phone, slipping this into a bag if you've got a tech bag, it's probably not going to fit into a tech case, um, but it will perfectly fit into an area where something like a small tablet, um, a seven inch tablet or seven inch Kim Kindle uh, will fit into there as well. So yeah, really impressed with everything that we have here. Um, very cool. Well, I definitely say if you're looking to up your EDC cables game, especially if you're after something a little bit different uh, in something like a tech case or a tech kind of setup tech pouch. Um, very impressed with these. Um, I have just checked as well, so while in between moving the camera around, I plug this into the Xbox and it does work with my Xbox controller, so no more children tripping over cables, because if they do, the magnet will just pop off the end and I won't have to worry about cables getting pulled out of my hand. Plus as well, especially at the office, Nobody's going to be stealing my cables as well because these are the only ones that kind of glow in the dark and have that funky light pattern on them. So nobody's ever going to say that, no, this is my cable, because I'm like, no, that's my cable. 
So yes, a huge thank you to Static for getting in touch and sending these my way. These are definitely going into my tech pouch from now. Um, I did mention at the beginning of this that there is a 10% discount code. So if you use the code morelander.static, then you'll be able to get 10% off your uh, purchases from, from Static. Um, so yeah, very cool. Now, as usual, I will leave all of the links below. I'll leave some of my social media links as well. For now, stay safe, stay Morelander, and stay EDC. Shoot. Nearly dropped them. Where am I going to put it? Oh, I took it into my waistband. This gets awkward when I have to try and arrange something around myself. Or I'm holding it in my hands. Shoot. And kind of impressions on what I think of these. Stay tuned to the end as well. Oh, actually, no, at this point, it's polite of me. Putting back my trousers again. I checked while I was off as well. I did mention that I pulled that little sleeve off. So on the side of the sleeve here, there's just like a little depressed thing. So what I think I'd done is, as I depressed this, because this is, this can come off, and I'd pushed that in. Um, but now that it's on there, it's on there tight. Always a good thing about these sort of like showing stuff off, warts and all, something's always meant to go wrong, but then afterwards you realize that you've touched something or, um, but yeah, it's, it's on now. It, it clicked into place but yeah very nice cables this thing's brilliant especially with the with the articulation that you get in there yeah I'm really impressed thank you very much cool that's me that's the waffle done I'll probably go and have to go and clean stuff off now see you in a bit bye